I was hit by a car while riding my bicycle nine and a half years ago. And um, I'm lucky to be alive because when my friends got to me, I had no vital signs, was not breathing, had to do CPR. I was um, helicoptered to the hospital. I was in a coma for a few weeks and six months in the hospital with a traumatic brain injury. As far as the foot drop, um, when I was once able to get up, and I think um, I was probably about three or four months post-injury when I was able to stand up and start taking steps, and I just my foot just hung, and it would drag. It was um, a continual battle and I don't know if I should call it a battle, but for me it was because I always had to think about how I was going to position my foot and how I was going to pick my leg up and take a step and put my foot down. And so if I didn't think about it, then my foot would roll and I would tend to fall. In everyday life, that is, it wears you out. And, um, you know, getting out of a car, walking into the grocery store and things like that, I just always have to think about how I'm going to position my foot and how I'm going to walk. And if, if I don't think about it, then I, I crash and burn. I think the biggest challenge she had was her normal, everyday life experiences were harder because of walking. Uh, when she'd walk, she did use a cane. Sometimes for a while she was using two canes. And when she was walking, she would drag the left side of her body and kind of the contortions that she had to go through just to walk made it just seem difficult for her. Um, you know, I love her, so I didn't care if she looked funny, but I think she felt she looked funny when she walked. Well, I initially um, had an AFO for my foot drop, and I guess the good thing about it is I could at least get my foot in a, a neutral normal position with the AFO. The main things I did not like about my AF, the AFO is that um, it was just um, a pain to, for shoes. I mean, because I could only have one pair of shoes, um, tennis shoes, which you can't wear with everything. And, um, and it seemed like it was almost too big for, I, you know, it was just really bulky. And um, and then having it under jeans and um, wearing it with shorts is just well, doesn't make a fashion statement. One thing that I had pursued was an EMS unit, which is an electrical muscle stim unit. And um, instead of the AFO, I thought that would be more practical. Um, and, and what you do is you put a, a switch plate in the heel of your shoe, and then you set up, it's got, you've got wires, and you set up the unit so that when you, your heel lands on the switch plate, it fires and brings your foot up into dorsiflexion. And um, that would work, um, that worked a little bit for a while and it was, it was better than nothing. But then um, just the unit um, with the electronics of it and stuff, I had a lot of problems keeping the wires and everything functioning properly. And it turned out to be a, a big pain in the neck. Every day I enjoy it more and I'm more excited about it. And I'm thinking, good, now I can do this. For example, um, I went to the rec center for the first time. I've been out of town the first two weeks I had it. But, and I did use it daily on that trip. But then I got home, so I went to the rec center and they have a track and I walked around the track with it. And it was great because prior to me getting the walk aid, I would walk around the track and I'd drag my foot and, and it was frustrating, it would take me Long, I, I could only go half the space in the same amount of time. Now I can cover twice the ground in less time and it feels good and normal. As far as um, having the walk aid, um, I was concerned about the um, care of it, you know, keeping it um, functioning properly and so forth, but I have found it's been very easy. When I take it off at night, I put little covers over the electrodes to keep them moist and then store it in a plastic bag, and that's, that's the most work I have to do for it. 
The one thing that Wacade has done for me that makes me feel really good and has affected my quality of life is just getting around in um, crowded areas with a lot of people. Um, I have, before I got Wacade, if I was, I would never have felt good. Now when she's walking, to me she's, she's, I've always loved her height. She stands taller, her shoulders, she just seems more of a fluid flow and more comfortable in her body. The thing that I love about it is, I was show, like I was showing Catherine, it's like, okay, this is what that, out the walkade, and I can barely move my, my foot, bring it up, and then the walkade, I mean, it's just, and I can feel the, the stem going through the muscles, and it's like, good, those muscles are working. They're regenerating, I hope, and, and all that good stuff, and building up in strength and endurance. So then our so next exciting. trip, we're going to go up to the mountains, and we're hoping to be able to walk around that lake. Yes, that's right. And do a lot more walking, because before we haven't been able to do that. Yeah, so uh, it will give us yeah, a lot uh -huh. more fun. That's right. A lot more mystery. And I won't have to hang on to you. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's too much. Uh, never mind. <laughs>